downloading the Big Scuba Podcast. It's big because... I'm Becky. I'm Ian. I'm Gemma. And together we make up the... Big. Big Scuba Podcast. And together we hope to bring you scuba stories, chats on equipment and holidays. We have some special guests lined up over the coming episodes. We also hope to bring you some news from around the world regarding marine issues and those things that hit in the press at the moment. One of the things that we'd like to do, as a, maybe a byproduct of this podcast, is that as we talk about scuba diving, maybe that encourage more people to get back in the water, and that would be really good, and that maybe we could play a small part in. So let me introduce myself. So my name is Ian. I was originally on another podcast, a uh, scuba podcast, which finished very recently, and um, I've been diving since 2014, dive master since 2016, I've done a few hundred dives and qualified to dive to 40 metres. Uh, dived in the Red Sea, Mexico, but most of my diving is in the UK. One of my favourite places to dive is, is in the Farne Islands, or here in East Anglia on the east coast of the UK. And because of the climate, most of our diving in the UK is dry suit. Uh, so most of my diving has been in dry suit diving. Got two children, Harvey and Honey, and we keep fairly local. And most of our diving is all based around here. And we've got a fairly local dive centre, which over the coming episodes we hope to feature from time to time. So that's me. Um, and over the course of the episodes, you know, I'll hope to bring bring you some of the stories and some of my experience as being a diver and dive master, really. So over to Gemma. Thank you, Ian. <laughs> right, my name is Gemma. I live on the Suffolk coast and I'm a non-diver. So I'm just about to start my journey and have a tri-dive next week Another with Ian. Journey. Another Ooh. journey. <laughs> um, so I've decided to give scuba diving a go and obviously hopefully you'll share my journey along the way. Good, good. That'll yep. be good. So it'll be Paddy um, I'll be going for. Yeah, same um, as me. There are lots of other options out there yeah. um outside of obviously scuba diving will be a new hobby um i like paddle boarding and lots of fitness at the gym um and i live on the coast so i love the beach i'm a be- you live beach merch on the beach <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah so i'm definitely a beach bum um so hopefully scuba diving i'll be able to combine with yeah some warm waters abroad and also, my job, I do sell fish, so <laughs> I really like the sea. <laughs> so, yeah, that's all about me, really. So, awesome. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, okay, Becky. Hi, so I'm Becky. I'm 32. I started my scuba journey last year, 2019, in August, where I started my theory-based uh, learning and then went to Fort Aventura to learn my open water. So I'm quite lucky in the sense that I learned in a warmer climate than most, nice. especially, you know, considering the UK waters. Um, so we did quite a few dives out there. And then obviously I'm now back in the UK and halfway through my theory on my dry suit. So hopefully Excellent. in the next yeah. few weeks, next month, Which will I will be, <laughs> yes, I will be a dry suit qualified so that I can then start diving in the UK, which is something that I want to do. So one of the main reasons why I got into scuba diving is I am the current reigning Miss Scuba <laughs> UK, um, you know, I'm That's the first. <laughs> yeah, I am the first, and potentially might be the only. So obviously, I've got to make, you know, how cool that good... be ended up where you are the only one. Well, I have been singing that song. I am yeah. the one and only <laughs> quite often recently. <laughs> the one and only. That yeah, was um, Chesney Hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chesney Hall. Exactly. So obviously, that's when quite. He is now. That's quite a common song that I've been singing recently. <laughs> but part of obviously the Miss Scuba stuff is encouraging women to take up scuba diving. So yeah. you know, encouraging the younger generation and the older generation, and really. Like we said, it's a quite a male-dominated uh, hobby, is, industry. Yeah. 
so they are trying to bring more more girls on board and, and get them to understand that it's fun it's really nice and actually you know you you find your own thing I found it quite therapeutic in my in my own way um, and I also do a lot on the marine conservation side as well so I'm now trained as a marine mammal medic excellent that's yeah. the first time I've ever been able to say that properly uh, which means that I work with Seal and Shore Watch UK locally. I will, if I get a call out, I'll go see if, if there's a seal. I'll see if it's okay. A seal. And then a seal, yes. Obviously, because that's one of the main marine mammals that are located around the coast here. Loads um, of them, yeah. Yeah, just a bit. Um, and obviously, there'll there'll be lots of issues potentially, you know, around those. So if we need to pull them off the beach, we'll then pull them off the beach, and then obviously apply first aid to them. I'm also a champion for the area marine of uh, Marina of Portofino as well. So yes, I know you're looking at me mm. as if to say, oh, I didn't know that. No. Um, so last year I a went to yes, I went to Portofino there. and did um, a lot of work with the guys there they're doing a lot of research and so i'm championing them to help promote marine conservation that's brilliant so really that is me in a nutshell great brilliant excellent so really when, when you look at it we're going to be encouraging more women to dive yep. going to talk about environmental issues mm -hmm. and generally aspects of diving and, and we're going to be watching Gemma go through the whole Open water diving. It's going to be exciting. And, uh, <laughs> yes. You're going to love Little it. Updates but that's really yeah. good because, you know, a lot of uh, people often worry about that first step into diving. Yes. And hopefully, yeah. you know, we can watch you as you progress and learn and go through those fears and how you overcome them, mm -hmm. you know, yes. and it will help, hopefully, it will help other people to get to their first steps in the yeah. water. So, or even think about having a go. Exactly. Yeah, definitely you know, with the dry dive, yeah. That's all really good. Yeah. Um, and one of the other things we want to do is we want to talk about, as we said, the news, don't we? Mm -hmm. um, Gemma, you've got a news item. Yes, quite an interesting one. A um, bit fishy related as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, scientists have been keen to learn how cuttlefish are able to see in 3D. So they've, really? Yeah, they've fitted them with stereoscopic red and blue spectacles oh my god <laughs> and they found out that while their eyes might be very different from those of humans their way of seeing is not so different so yeah. so they've been cuttlefish they've been trained to look at shrimps oh uh, so i think they must have covered one eye up and then the other and they found out that they yeah i'd like to meet the people that train these fish maybe they can train my dog <laughs> <laughs> i might just train some humans yes exactly <laughs> um so the couple fish um finds its prey with its tentacles but obviously needs to see them as well so obviously seeing like we do it can judge the distance i think that's the general um gist of it mm. yeah so but obviously they do bear no resemblance to human beings and they've got a very different brain apparently as well um but yeah that's the study because that... they're the ones that change colors as well aren't they yeah 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 and they cuttlefish They've got their eyes move in different ways. Unlike squid and octopus, cuttlefish can rotate their eyes to a forward-facing position. Wow. Really? Yeah. So oh. Try that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there we go. Okay, nice. Really? Well, actually, yeah. I was having a look, and, um, and cuttlefish aren't the first animals to have uh, glasses. Did you know that dogs can also have... <laughs> Can, can have word. glasses. That's going to be called like Rex Specs. What a great name, Rex Specs. Are you sure that that's not like the latest craze where they stick, you know, like the jumpers no, on the dogs the and stuff? And how do you <laughs> train <laughs> cuttlefish? How do you train cuttlefish to wear glasses? Well, it's possible. So anything. Imagine possible, the patience you've got to have every time you put a pair of glasses on oh, a cuttlefish, no, no, no. and then the and then the cuttlefish. And it just it. like gets its tentacle. And must have, swipes must have. it off. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> My eyes can see green, <laughs> one of the other eyes can see red. Oh, How many eyes yeah. do they have? Two. They only have two. Yeah. I think. Okay. Yeah. Oh, don't second well, guess me. I don't know. Well, they don't have <laughs> spectacles with three like lenses on. Some things have more than one eyes, don't they? You've been watching too much Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking too hard. I know. <laughs> uh, anyway, have you got some news as well? I have, yeah, I've got some news too. Um, some really good news, really, that the island, uh, Pacific Island of Palau, is it Palau? 
has become the first nation to protect its coral reefs from the damaging chemical sunscreens. And they've now banned the manufacture and, and the and important and the sale of cream from New Year's Day. So that's, that's already now in force. So you cannot now dive around those islands uh, if you've got sun cream on mm. and can't go in the water with it as well. Um, it's, a, it's actually fascinating that the government estimated that some 23 litres of sun cream were being dispensed into the seas by users every day. It was oh, shocking. Yeah. Yeah. And that's really... Some of it's got, like, plastic... Elements, um, micro... Yeah. What were they call them? Nodules. No, not even nodules. It's micro... Micro... micro pellet things. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Those things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, its decision was influenced by a 2017 coral reef research foundation mm. report that found sunscreen chemicals present in the decline in population of non-stinging jellies in around those areas yeah uh and it's recommended that products should be banned from the sale and implemented straight away and apparently there's two main chemicals which are the problem uh one of them being oxybenzone yeah. and the hey, other one well is oxen Sonic, oxenate or something. Oxenate, and apparently yeah. they're the two main chemicals. Why is it they always make those chemicals that you can't can... actually pronounce properly? Let's call it bad chemical one and bad, bad chemical, chemical two. two. <laughs> Everybody understands. But the thing is, from that, from what you're saying, is is um they don't talk about the sun creams that are environmentally friendly because obviously there's a lot of companies now that are making that because obviously there is a lot of people because you still need sun cream exactly you you can't say to people well you you can't you know you can't scuba dive without sun no. cream because i've done it without sun cream and boy yeah. you do not want to you do not realize how much the sun can penetrate that water i came out with burnt hands and the rest of me was white yeah, yeah that's you know? a good look isn't it <laughs> oh it was amazing and the, trying to get that tan line to fade really <laughs> did not work well when i dived in the red sea one of the first mistakes i made was um i wore suntan lotion actually on my face oh no and i forgot i had it on because it was an afternoon dive oh, up no. in the sun in the deck on the top of the deck getting some rays yeah, yeah. didn't w wash my face go yeah. straight into the water with a mask on and then wonder why your mask is leaking like a sieve because it's just like oh, it makes a big difference yeah. I had some girls do exactly the same when we were learning in Fortaventura and they their eyes were stinging and, and they I suppose couldn't some work makeup must do the same I I I, hand I on know. heart I know this for a fact I dived with some beautiful and lovely girls wearing full face of makeup and depending on what makeup it was that they were wearing depended if it was actually going then into their eyes because obviously you can get you know quite steamy and yeah. hot and, yeah. and sweaty with your mask on and obviously it begins to leak but they Especially definitely had waters. yeah they definitely had a problems with sun cream so that was something that you know the yeah. One thing the instructor doesn't actually remember to tell you is to wash your face. Girls, have you got makeup on? You might not want to. Well, can you imagine? Do, do kind of like a cool checkup, right? Line up, everybody. Buddy check. Make sure you removed your mascara. Get those wipes. Yeah. Imagine that in the dive briefing, actually, when they're doing the whole briefing oh, of the dive and stuff like that. And by the yeah. way, ladies, need no... no Makeup. But it does. I mean, I, do, I shouldn't be sexist because some men might. Well, you, well, they do. You yeah. never know. I have no men to wear the BB cream. Don't no. ask me what BB cream is. I really, actually, don't know to this day. Not heard of that. It's, it's some sort of cream with foundation, like the concealer makeup foundation. So they have smooth it. skin. Yes, very smooth. I'm not but yeah, there you go. But yeah, so, we, so <laughs> one, one thing that we did was when we were in the Maldives snorkeling, we bought sun cream specifically that didn't have those chemicals in right. to protect us okay. while we were snorkeling. Mm. But obviously at the same point, not affecting the corals and the fish that we were swimming around. I've, ha I've got a couple here. I can't remember mine off by heart, but there's um, three sun creams, uh, Nature's Block, um, Ultra Sun and Green People. And I think green people is vegan as well. Vegan. Yeah, and that's popular now. So you're yeah. not going to eat it. No, vegan. No. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not all about it's eating. Not it's not about eating. It's not. <laughs> it's not been tried and tested on animals. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's so 
Sometimes. It doesn't have any animal products in it, obviously, okay. as well. Yeah. That's good. So there's alternatives. So, so people are listening. There are. Uh, they don't. They don't promote that. They obviously quite a lot of the news reports that you get now of, uh, about the the coral reefs, and it's good that they're being made aware of. Yeah. Mm. That even just going in the sea, you're affecting the the kind of the balance of everything. Uh, but they don't actually tell you about the sun creams that are available. Okay. And obviously there are many other brands on the market that you can purchase. This yeah. is just three that I've found. Okay, yeah. that's cool. <laughs> Great. We're not... Not sponsored by not any sponsored of them. not sponsored by them, no. <laughs> we're not, no. Be nice though. Nice yes, thing. yes, by all means. More than happy to try and test them. Uh, one of the things I found also uh, looking into this uh, band was uh, if you do actually ignore that it's actually a thousand dollar fine yeah but how do they know that you're I don't know. that would don't be know. my ultimate good, question good because if, if i'm rocking up with my Suntown, say for instance nature's block how do they not know that they go up with a lick the... finger and go side <laughs> your face <laughs> or and have they to can tell it's like, vegan. And, 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 vegan and, and, and here's my product <laughs> yeah. it's vegan friendly <laughs> cool yeah. wow well also, uh, this is one of the last points that um, Florida and Hawaii were going to follow suit with this ban. Really? Yeah, um, but the by the looks of it, the, on the legal side of things, anyway, they're still debating that whether to follow suit or not. So mm. hopefully, hopefully I mean, they'll follow suit. They have to be very careful because you can't just say you can't use sun cream because yeah. then that's a whole you're opening a whole can of worms. Well, right I think there, the local it? senator, by the sound of things, is uh, holding back for more discussion on it. So yeah. and also, like you said. Um, it's a case of it might put people off mm. going yeah. to the beach yeah. and going to those areas. Well, that's always the trade off, isn't it? What's more important, I suppose. But yeah, um, it's the yeah. awareness probably as well that's yeah. most important. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully we can play our part in that small little part in highlighting that. Well cool. Done. Well, Great. that's our news. The other thing we want to talk about as well um, is really the social media side of things. So. You know, this is our first episode. One of the things that we're going to be looking at doing is really highlighting some of these things on social media. So where, where can we be found? Where well, we all, we have a Facebook account, a Facebook page, um, Instagram, and they're all under the Big Scuba podcast. Yeah. Twitter as well. I've set a YouTube channel Brilliant. as well. So obviously our podcast can be on there. We're going to do TikTok. Ooh. So yeah. Excellent. Oh, and there'll be some TikTok. exciting videos what? on uh, TikTok. It, that's that TikTok is that video thing, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. right. At least I'm not completely out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and even Snapchat as well. So I've not done Snapchat. Have no, you not? Oh, no. that's going to be entertaining. Can we let him start it first? Yes. That's the one with filters, isn't it? <laughs> yep. So the, you know, you might find some fishy. So we're going to be on it, oh on it, out there on the social media side of things. We are absolutely letting people know what we're doing we um, what and we're also yeah. you know news and stuff like that yeah. so mm -hmm. if you are downloading us and uh, we hope that you'll be we'll get eventually on to the main uh, hosting sites and things like that you know like itunes a cast all the one the usual places where you get your downloads um you know hopefully if you you can follow us on these social media sites as well yeah, and we'll also be doing Patreon. So, you know, if you have some real interest into us, you can sign up for all the extra bits and bobs that we can offer as yeah. well. Yeah, brilliant. Okie dokie. Okay, so future episodes, we've got some uh, really exciting guests lined up. Um, we spoke to a few people. I'm not going to name them now because I think that would uh, not be Spoilers, be we don't want spoilers. Be spoilers, yeah. But we've got some really good guests lined up who are really interested to get, get involved, and that'd be good some more on a more long-term plan as well uh, and some of the episodes will be involving Gemma as you as you learn diving Start as well my diving journey yeah. yes as she says with a big smile on her face <laughs> always smiling always smiling yeah, yeah. I'm sure yeah. and I hope we can also involve things like fitness maybe some nutritional stuff because fitness also plays a very important yes. part yes. Uh, with diving and uh, as the fitter you get the better your dive will be mm -hmm. and also as you know for us in the UK we're, we're kind of in the closed period because of the, the climate is now really 
that are quite cold for the best part of the UK. Mm. And most of the diving won't really start till sort of about April time. Um, but as we as more diving carries on, we're hopefully we can bring more episodes actually from the water side and things like that. Yeah, reports yeah. out and about as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, also, one of the things that we'll be looking to do is probably evolve the podcast to kind of fit and as I as we bring more, hopefully bring more listeners on. And if you've got any questions to do with diving and scuba diving, uh, please do write in and they can email us. We've got an email address. We, we have, yep. It's the big scuba podcast at hotmail.com. Nice Brilliant. and easy. Yeah, yeah, nice and easy. And uh, we'll read those letters out on the show. Okay, so we can even be interactive. <laughs> With our no. listeners. <laughs> right. So apart from that, all I want to say is uh, thank you very much for downloading and listening to us uh, rattle on for these last sort of 20 minutes or so. In our very first episode. In our very first I episode. I think we've done pretty good. <laughs> Excellent. So thank you very much and goodbye. Yes, thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Big Scuba podcast. We really appreciate you tuning in today. We would like to clarify that we are in no way affiliated with any agency or organisation. All opinions expressed in this episode are our own. If you would like to follow us on social media, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all at the Big Scuba podcast. And if you would like to support us via Patreon, go to patreon.com forward slash the Big Scuba podcast. And any contributions are really appreciated. Additionally, if you have any suggestions for topics or discussions, then send us an email to thebigscubapodcast at hotmail.com. We look forward to hearing from you soon.